Okay, folks, the, uh, the radio has survived the trip to camp. So uh, we are now back at the home QTH and everything's looking good. I'm still using this stand. I like the stand a lot, but there's no real protection for the radio. And I know a lot of you have mentioned the POV case, but I had something planned. I had something on order. Let's move this out of the way. What I have on order is the WinCamp ARC 705 Shield. This is a relatively new product, new enough. Let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like on the radio. All right, it comes with tools. Tools are always nice. in there, put that back in there, get that out of the way, all right there we go, there's a little bit of instructions, it says put the radio in upside down, step one, step two, put in the three different kinds of screws. One of them goes into the tripod mount and then the other two go into some of the side mounts. And there's a little bit of uh, rubber down here where the radio will go. So let's turn it upside down like they request. And it's got a little stand on it. It tells you which screw goes where. Let's get the screws out. And what my curiosity was with this is, is it compatible? Because I believe it should be, but you know how assumptions go. Is it compatible with the regular WinCamp mount? So let's get my stand off. And my stand is just a regular screw in the bottom. And let's see if we can get this thing in here. Undo the antenna, get that out of the way. And the speaker mic, I'm going to try and do this without disconnecting the speaker mic also. And now that I can move the speaker mic, let's put the antenna back on. Oh, lost one. Found it. Ow. move some of this stuff out of the way before I lose it again. Okay, I think what I'm going to want to do is put the speaker mic through first, through this side hole here. That way that cord is out of the way. What are we getting stuck on? Getting stuck on something. I think it's going to be that wind camp mount. And it is so close. All right. Get the wind camp mount off. I 
Okay, the wind camp mount is off. The speaker mic is out of the way. And now it fits in just fine. putting all of these in loose and they're all self-centering screws so it'll line itself up and then I'm going to go back and tighten them down. Alright, so that's in. Instructions are done. And what this thing has done is created a full cage around the outside. Oh, lost a light. Around the outside of the 705. So we've got some nice handles up front. It's protecting the knobs and buttons and things from getting knobbed and buttoned while they're inside of some type of transportation system or getting knocked off of a bench or whatever the case may be. And then let's address that wind camp mount because. Not having that doesn't make any sense. Not having it work together doesn't make any sense. Why would you have one and not the other? I don't know, fellers. I'm kind of disappointed about that. I like the case. I like the cage design overall. What I can do without these tools, they didn't give me the right tools for it. This side piece here will come off. I wonder how strong that is if I take that side piece off. Let me go get the right set of tools for that. Hang on a second. All right, we are back. Let's try this out. One, two, three, Four. A little bit of uh, manufacturing dust pops out when you do that. One. Two. Looks like that will work. Let's put this back in place. Man, I can't believe they didn't think about that. I could totally understand if these were two separate companies that made products that were not compatible with each other, but this is Wincamp selling the RC1 and Wincamp selling the ARK705, and they're not compatible with each other. So that's installed. There's the tilt bale. I mean, there's a solution. It's just not a good one. So we've removed a strut. All right, let's get some beauty shots and show you what this thing looks like all assembled. The Wincamp Arc-705 was $131 on Amazon. There is a link in the description down below. Overall, I think it's a pretty sturdy bit of kit. I'm just really not happy with the fact that the uh, RC1, the little side mount on the back, is not compatible. I've got it shoehorned in there. I've got that extra piece screwed back in 
for some support. This piece right here, it's only held in by one screw. I wish it could be held in by more without doing any damage or any type of like uh, mechanical re-engineering. Um, it's pretty strong. Walking back in the house, I actually banged it against the door. Didn't feel as bad as I would have felt if I would have hit my VFO knob or something along those lines. I'm currently holding it one-handed by using the handle on the front. So overall, it's pretty good. I think that it would be a relatively quick fix, at least to get two screws back in place or maybe to have something compatible um, to put the antenna mount back where it belongs and put that side bracket back where it belongs. So I don't know. Eight out of ten? Seven out of ten? I think the out-of-box experience is, is what's clouding my judgment here. Um, would I recommend it? Sure. I've seen the POV mount that everybody's been talking about. The POV mount doesn't go around the back side of the radio, so there's no protection on the back. I feel better already about wanting to just take this thing with me and maybe sitting it on the passenger seat in the car, whereas before I would not have wanted to do that. I always had it in some type of box or some type of carrying case of some kind. But this isn't too bad. Now I don't feel so bad uh, just having it outside. I feel like there's a good 75% chance that if it gets bumped off of a table or something in the course of normal use or going out and doing a park activation or something like that, that it won't be too bad. Um, anything better out there? Let me know. Thanks for being awesome.